Welcome guys. The new update is finally here. So, the new update is out and a lot of things have changed. When you are in the start menu and press the button play, you will see a selection of difficulty modes. There are three mods so far, easy, normal and hard. Each mod has some advantages and disadvantages. You can look at them using this button with arrows. As a skilled explorer, I will of course choose the hard mod. Then you will see a selection of the country you want to represent, and the new feature is that you can now search for a country in the search bar. Now I also noticed that over your head next to the flag it shows what difficulty the player is playing. So yeah let's see what a hard mod looks like, it'll be fun for sure. So, here's the first ladder, which is shortened compared to the normal mod, so I assume all the obstacles will be somehow harder. And there's ice on this ladder that isn't in normal mode. I'll always speed up the video when there's nothing that interesting. The first difficult obstacle. Looks like the ladders are moving here. So there's a few planks missing on this bridge, so it's a bit more challenging to cross the bridge. And here's a piece of ladder missing again, but so far, it's pretty easy. Super Ice Ladder, it sounds fun but in fact it's quite difficult and when below you is a huge abyss and you fall, so immediately die, plus you have only one life, so checkpoints will not work. Yeah, this bridge looks really hard, plus it's got ice on it, so it could be tricky. And here we go. Finally, it was much harder than I expected, I probably couldn't have done it without the speed boost. And here's the first camp, it only took me half an hour to get here. And now let's move on, hopefully there won't be anything as difficult as now. Very high winds were very easy for me even though a lot of people have a problem with them, but I think the speed boost helped me a lot.
Here this is also difficult, you must not fall here otherwise you kill yourself and you go again from the base camp. Okay, here we are at the snowmobile section, there should be a new vehicle I've been looking forward to. It costs 7000 coins, I think it's a good price, let's have a look at it. It looks great, you can change the color of the body, seats and interior just like snowmobiles. So I'm gonna choose a nice color combination and we're gonna go for a ride. Great sound, a little more difficult to drive, but the advantage is that 8 people can ride in one vehicle. I have extra ice on the track here, so it will be harder to get through this track. First bridge, without ice so far. But there's already ice here, so it'll be slippery. I hope I can make it. Well, I failed. I'll try the snowmobile now. So here I am again, but with a snowmobile. Great! Luckily, I made it. Number 2 I wonder if that shortcut still works here. It still works, but I want to try the normal way. So in hard mode, more ice parts were added in here on the wall. I don't think this is a hard thing to do, just avoid them. This is a really awful jump, just one mistake and you go through the whole expedition again. More difficult obstacles where when you fall down you already know what will happen. It's swinging beautifully here. Okay, I'm going to give it a try, but it looks very difficult.
Mysteriously, I'm here again and I'm sorry as I'd like to finish this so I'll take a shortcut. So my dear friends the day D is here and perhaps the hardest challenge is here. The wall of death. So I'm going to try to climb down it. So this was really hard, my hands were all sweaty. But now quickly because this video is too long. Okay, I'm finally here, hard mod completed. I know I sped up the end of the video a bit but otherwise the video would be really long and I don't want to spoil everything in the video. So I wish you good luck, you can write me if you have finished the hard mod and how many expeditions you have together. See you later!